Hey guys, I wanted to tell you about this new car diagnostic tool that I just recently got. This thing is absolutely invaluable, whether you're a home mechanic or even a professional. As cars become more and more technological and more and more advanced, the days of just looking under the hood and figuring out what's wrong are really behind us at this point. You have to have a diagnostic tool like this. And frankly, this is one of the best ones I've seen. It has the OBD connector that connects right into the, the port inside your vehicle, and it magnetically clips right onto the back so that it stays in place there. A colored touch screen that you can connect to your internet and download updated software and updated versions. So even as your cars are getting newer and changing, you can constantly keep this updated and they can be able to provide the necessary information. The number of things this does is more than I can share in a short video, but I did make a short video just showing you a little bit more about it, and I hope you like it. Opening the box to this diagnostic set, you'll see that inside it comes in a awesome carrying case, a hard shelled case that's gonna keep the whole entire system and all the different components and connections safe and secure. Once you open it up, you see an ethernet cable that can connect it to a computer, your instruction manual, as well as the packing list. Underneath that little bit of a foam is the actual unit itself on the back, that OBD reader. And again, magnetic connection just stays in place right there. It's really quite a powerful magnet you're not going to lose that as long as you put it back in place on the top you have your power button and then the usb and usb c ports on the top one to connect to the your ethernet cable the other the usb c to charge it one of the great things also is that they provide all different types of adapters and so there is a usb adapter for the ethernet cable that's how you're going to connect your computer if you're there but also depending on where you are in the world what your power supply looks like they have have different outlet change outs so that your plug-in for charging it can be adjusted for what country you're in. Also their uh, power charging cable as well. But really the main bulk of what you're purchasing and the main diagnostic aspect is all housed within this color touch screen diagnostic tool. And again, you can see right here as I just go through, as I mentioned a moment ago, there is so much that this can do and so many options and settings and uh, frankly, so much information stored within it that there's no way to review it all. But as I kind of click through some different uh, parts of the menu here under the diagnostic tools and maintenance tools, uh, you see an upgrade menu at the top and more. You can check your ABS brakes, you can check your lights, you can check your TPMS sensors. Truly every aspect of the car that is checked, regulated, or controlled by your car's computer uh, can be looked at, adjusted, and set with changes through this diagnostic tool. Truly an amazing thing. Even the key, your anti-theft and key matching, you can deprogram an old key and program a new one. The battery matching, just a host of information. I think truly, really this is intended for a professional mechanic, but what an amazing tool for a home mechanic such as myself just scrolling through all the different options and checks that you can perform with this diagnostic tool is an amazing, amazing thing that it's all housed within this color touchscreen computer. Truly using this tool is just this simple. Plugging in that OBD reader into your OBD port and then going into the diagnostic tool itself, there's an auto function that you can just select auto search and it will read through the OBD scanner. Here as you can see on the screen, it says doing a VIN scan and it will search out what your vehicle is by the computer information so that you don't have such a risk of perhaps entering something in incorrectly. It will tell you exactly what your vehicle is so that when it populates information about your vehicle, it's populating the correct information. So there, showing the VIN, showing the manufacturer and what model the vehicle is. Once you've selected that and it's identified that, you can start to go into the diagnostic and see what computer codes or what error codes uh, your your computer's ECU is pushing forward. So a lot of options, a lot of things you can check and do, uh, manually selecting items, automatically selecting. But what I love about it is that it does so much automatically. You can not even be sure what you're looking for, but just let it search on its own and see what it will bring back to you. And so in this demonstration, I'm just going to click on the health report and let it go searching for the error codes that populate. 
And then once the report is done, you can click on any individual line and it will talk to you and tell you about what that code means. Even the option to select the AI analyst and that will give you an AI generated information sheet as you're about to see populate here that tells you with a lot more detail exactly what that code is for and even tells you how to fix it. And then once you've cleared those problems and fixed them, you can even go in through this diagnostic tool and clear those ECU codes to make sure that your computer no longer sees them. And then you can run another health diagnostic to see if there are any new ones or if they're perhaps not quite fixed yet. Then when you're finished, you simply remove that OBD reader and magnetically attach it back to the back of your diagnostic tool and you're all done. Frankly, if you're one to even try to fix your vehicle or tinker with your vehicle in the garage, this tool will save you so much time and money that it will pay for itself. One trip to a mechanic would cost more than what it would cost you to buy this diagnostic tool. I don't know what I did without it, and I know if you gave it a try, you would love it as much as I do. Thanks for watching.